Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Dell Inspiron laptop, and this is a 17-inch model. And let me show you at the back here. So at the computer gets really hot. At one point, it gets too hot until that the computer would just shut off on its own. So I like to take it apart and ap apply some new thermal paste. I believe that maybe the fan is dirty. Maybe the thermal paste is all dried up and that is why it's building up a lot of heat in the computer. So I like to take it apart, clean it out and I show it to you step by step on how to do that. So if your laptop is overheating and the computer is shutting off on its own or maybe the fan goes on a high speed at all the time, this is the video that you want to watch. Show you step by step on how to take it apart, clean it out, apply new thermal paste and let's get started. So if we turn it around and look at the model here, it says P98F, this is the Inspiron, and the full model is P98F001. So the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver, and let's go ahead and remove the screws. The top three screws, they do not come off. So just leave it as is. And the middle part of the screws, the four screws are coming off. So make sure you save them on the side. And here comes the very bottom four screws and they all come off. Only the top three screws do not come off. Alright, once you have all the screws removed, let's go ahead and try to pry open the back cover. So you just need a plastic prying tool, stick underneath the bottom cover and just pry it open. Let's move this on the side. So if you take a look here, that the CPU fan is quite clean. I don't see any dust or linen or any pets fur clogging out the, the fan so and the fan spins very smooth and normally so i'm just going to leave the fan as is by not cleaning it out but if you want to clean the fan you can get the aiken duster and just kind of blow it off and dust it off now what i'm going to do next is to apply some new thermal paste on the cpu and a graphics card All right, once you have unscrewed the seven screws, the heat sink, the copper heat sink will just come right off. And as you can see that the thermal paste is all dried up, we'll be applying a new thermal paste. But first we need to get the alcohol wipes. So I'll be using these alcohol wipes and try to remove the dry thermal paste. Okay, so once you clean on the copper heat sink, you do not want to forget by cleaning the CPU and the graphics card. So the one on the top here is actually your graphics card and the one here on the right side is your CPU
okay once we have that all clean we can just throw this one out we do not need them anymore all right so the next step we would like to apply the mx thermal compound What I like to do is I like to put a very small amount of the thermal paste and kind of spread it around all the corners, make sure that it is all covered. And by the time I push the thermal, uh, sorry, by the time when, when I use the, um, the, the heat sink that goes on top and screwed it in, it would actually push the thermal paste evenly all across the surface. Okay, so let's kind of talk a little bit about what you see here. And if this is your laptop, you can definitely see that this is the main battery. And if your battery is swollen or maybe a lump on it, it is time for a replacement. And if you're not sure where to buy the battery, you can look it up this model here, which says 3HWPP. Or maybe you can look it up the model number here on the little sticker. Now, for those of you who wants to maybe upgrade some, uh, you know, like upgrade your RAM, the RAM is hidden underneath here. So you have the uh, first RAM install. The first RAM here is, I think it's running on 8 gigs. And if you want to upgrade to a secondary RAM, you can do that by installing on a secondary slot. So you can add additional DDR4 RAM into this slot here and that should be um, is upgradable. And here comes your solid state drive. This is the M2 solid state drive. And if you feel like your solid, uh, your drive is not enough capacity or you're running out of space, you can actually replace the uh, M2 drive and uh, increase your capacity. All right, so that's pretty much it. And the fan is looking good. Everything is good. I'm just going to put the heat sink back together. So you, you saw that the way I put the, putting the screw back together is to not tighten the screw all in one position. I just kind of make halfway through the screws and come back again and redo it the same. The reason why I'm doing that is if you tighten the screw starting from the top here, right? So what happened is that the heat sink get pushed down and tightened down on one side and therefore the thermal paste is going to be uneven so more of the paste would run towards to the bottom side and the top all the thermal paste gets squeezed out so if you press it down evenly and screw it down as you you know move your way first and second round or all around the screws you are you are actually pushing down the thermal um sorry the heat sink flat all together Okay, so everything is all installed. It is all good to go. Let me put up, put the uh, back cover all back together.
right so this is pretty much it it is very simple and straightforward by applying new thermal paste uh, onto the heat sink hopefully that helps to cool off the computer and not overheating and shuts off on its own all right and i hope that this video is helpful if you have any question please comment below and do not forget always smash the like button i would really appreciate you for doing that and until next time please take care bye now